At the moment, they get us from north to south in relative obscurity, but the age of enlightenment is nearly upon us. Because these are the ideas being considered for the Thames, illuminating London's 17 bridges, bringing light to the lifeblood of the city. The project is being privately funded, and half of the estimated £20 million has already been secured. The purpose of this project really is to turn what at the moment is a kind of ribbon of darkness running through the centre of London into a ribbon of light. I think that for a long time we've had London bridges have been lit in rather a disparate way. Some have been overlit, some have been underlit, some have been lit with old-fashioned lighting technology. And the idea here is to basically create one scheme that would create a beautiful, unifying uh, theme for all the London bridges. Of course, these are still just ideas for what could be. Some of the light installations come with sound, some with lasers, some even generate their own power. Ambitious and artistic, yes, but submitted by designers, architects and engineers who will each make their case for the feasibility and sustainability of their vision. The competition is not just about the ideas, but how this could be implemented and how you would see it being implemented. And the panel and the jury which looks at the, at the teams and selects a winner will be focusing on how realisable some of these ideas are. So it's not just about how nice they look? Not at all, uh, but you have to have the inspiration and if we can then tie the inspiration into the realisation, that's the sort of sweet spot of the one that's going to win. What are we looking for? We're looking for something really which gives dignity and beauty back to the Thames at night. And the organisers want to know what you think of the ideas. You can go online or see the six shortlisted concepts on display for the next month at the Royal Festival Hall.